back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you're an OD but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back for another video. So first things first, I know I have been totally MIA for like the past month. So I can't just come here with a new video and not let you guys know what's been going on. So I just wanted to let you guys know kind of why I've been gone. Um, June was very, very hectic. So at the beginning of June, I had to go on an unexpected business trip to New York, which was just a couple of days, but it was unexpected. So it kind of just threw a wrench into everything. And then the second week of June, that is when we went to our beach trip um, to Myrtle Beach. You guys can probably tell I'm looking a little bit bronzy. So yeah, went on a beach vacation and we were gone for about a week. And then when we got back, they started on our bathroom renovations. They started on Uriah's first and they're pretty much finishing it up. Um, it wasn't like a full renovation in his bathroom. We pretty much just updated a few things, but of course I will do a full video on that so you guys can see kind of what we changed and what it's looking like. And now they're about to get ready to start on our master bathroom and I'm so excited about it. So it's going to be a full renovation. Like everything's coming out, everything's getting gutted. It's gonna be so nice. I'm super duper excited about it. So yeah, that's going to take a couple of weeks. So, you know, I'm gonna be trying to film here and there, but of course you guys know with renovations, you know, it can be a little bit tricky because it's loud and people are in and out and all of that, but I have I've been vlogging a little bit more, so be sure to subscribe to Nitra B TV because I'm going to try to keep you guys updated over there. But yeah, that's pretty much why I was MIA the entire month of June. Like I said, I was not expecting that whatsoever, but now I am back with a new video. And since we recently took a beach vacation, I figured that I would kind of do like a beach essentials video and kind of let you guys know what were some of the things that I used when I was at the beach and you know, just kind of what I'm loving for beach time because it's summertime, summer, summer, summertime. And we're just all enjoying the summertime. We're going to the beach, we're having fun. So yeah, I thought it would be really cute to do a video like this and kind of let you guys know, you know, what I'm using and all of that fun stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but when I think of the beach, the first thing I think of is a swimsuit. So I wanna show you guys the different ones that I have. So for my body type, I like um, a high-waisted swimsuit because, um, I don't know, I don't feel that I'm like really curvy. I mean, I'm curvy, but I'm like not really curvy. Like I don't have like a tiny waist. Um, you know, the area is still a little poochy from the baby and it's not all the way summer 18 ready, but I'm still working on that, okay? I'm working on that. I got weight loss goals, honey. But yeah, I um, kind of like a high-waisted swimsuit because I feel like it kind of cinches the waist in a little bit, makes it look a little bit more snatched. So that's normally what I gravitate towards. I also like to do a cute one-piece. So I like the ones that have a Brazilian cut because they're a little bit higher cut and it shows off a little bit of the booty. And I'm okay with showing my booty, my midsection. Like I said, it needs a little bit of work, but the booty looking okay. So whenever I do a one-piece, I kind of like to do that Brazilian cut. And of course, with a swimsuit, it is important to find one that complements your body type and it's important to find something that you are confident in. So of course the swimwear is going to vary depending on your body type. But like I said, I like to do a high-waisted one. So this is one that I love, love, love. And this is from Pretty Little Thing. I absolutely love this. So as you guys can tell, it's a beautiful lilac color and it has these stones on it. And Here's the back, so it's almost a thong, but not really. It's kind of like that Brazilian cut, so it's not really cutting into your leg to where it's gonna make like your cellulite or anything like that look a little bit more obvious, but it's cut a little bit more higher, or a little bit higher, so it's gonna look very nice and flattering on a booty. And then <clears throat> this is what the top looks like. So it's kind of like a halter. Well, it is a halter, so it goes around the neck and then also goes around the back. And I like this because it gives me a little bit of coverage. I am top heavy, so I want something that's gonna kind of lift these things up and make sure that they're really nice and covered. Another swimsuit that I really love and I wore when we went on our beach vacation is this one by Fashion Nova. So it also has stones on it as well. Oh no, this isn't from Fashion Nova. This is Pretty Little Thing as well. So it also has stones on it. And then this is, the bottom, Let's see if I can get it right. Okay, so yeah, this is the bottoms. 
So yeah, as you guys can tell, they are kind of high-waisted, and then this is what the back looks like. So it does have that Brazilian cut, and this is very nice and flattering. If you pull your um, swimsuit up, you know, and kind of make it look like that high cut, I feel like it just makes your waist look a little bit smaller. So that's what I love to do. And then this next one I just recently got, it is from Fashion Nova, but it's also high-waisted. So as you guys can tell, I do have a type of swimsuit that I like that I think is most flattering for my body type, which is important. So um, yeah, it also is a little bit higher cut. I love these stripes. And then the top is very similar to the other one that I just shared with you guys. So yeah, I feel like I might need a little bit of coverage in this as far as like lifting the girls up because there's nothing in here. Like there's literally nothing, not no pad, not nothing. So I'll probably have to figure something out with that. A lot of the times I can just get my grandma to sew like some of those little pad things in there and it kind of gives me a little bit of support. But um, yeah, that's what the top looks like. And like I was telling you guys, I also like to wear cute one pieces. Sometimes I feel like it's kind of hard to find a cute one piece, but I love this one from Fashion Nova. I actually got a chance to wear it when we went on vacation. So this is what it looks like. It's very flattering. I love the fact that it has this little, it's not a drawstring, but I don't know, it kind of helps wrap around the waist and it pulls your waist in. And I got so many compliments on this and it also has a very cute cover up that comes with it. So another thing you're definitely gonna need whenever you go to the beach is a beach tote. So this is the one that I use. It's super duper cute. I love that it has the braided look and I love the tassel on the front of it. A lot of beach bags have this type of look, but the tassel definitely helps it stand out a little bit more. But um, this one's very nice and roomy. And if you are a wife or a mom, you would definitely appreciate that because you're gonna be packing for everybody, your husband, your kids, everybody. And I was able to fit all of my stuff, all of Coast and stuff, and all of Uriah's stuff in this bag. So it's very nice and roomy. So it is from Express and I just love it. I think it's very nice and I love the style. It's very fashionable, which of course you want something that's gonna be really nice and cute. So yeah, I just love this one. And I will have a link below for the beach bag, swimsuits, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked below. So this year for the beach, I decided that it was time to get a new beach hat. The one that I had was on the struggle bus, you guys. It was so old. So I went ahead and picked up two new ones. So this is the first one that I got, and this one is from Express. I absolutely I love this one. So it says resting beach face, and I just think it's so cute. I love how it has little pom-poms around it. I love how it has the stain on the front. These type of hats are really in right now. And I think this one was about 30 bucks, but it's very nice and big and it is going to keep you protected from the sun rays. Of course, you do have to have sunblock, which I will talk about here in a little bit. But yeah, this is really great for protecting yourself and you know, just keeping the sun off of you. I think this one's really cute. And then I got another one that's a little bit bigger than that one. And it's just a regular sun hat and it's a little bit more more floppy and I just think this one is very very cute and I love the way that it looks so yeah just having any type of hat at the beach is definitely going to be a must I saw a lot of girls who had ball caps which I thought was really cute as well so yeah I think just any type of hat will definitely get the job done but I love the big floppy hat I also wanted to talk about sunscreen sunblock all of that good stuff it's definitely a must whenever you're at the beach so the one we decided to go with was this one by Neutrogena and it's the Hydro Boost water gel it's SPF 30 and I love this one because it's really easy to rub in and it doesn't give you that greasy feel and whenever I got this they were doing a deal at Target where if you use your cartwheel app I think you get like five dollars off so yeah it made this only a couple of bucks and then they also have the Neutrogena one for babies the spray on one that's the one that I use on Uriah but yeah everybody has to have sunblock you want to make sure that you're protecting your skin and this one is one that I definitely recommend it's very nice and then of course you have to have some cute sunglasses so these are the ones that I've been wearing a lot here recently they're actually by the brand Ray-Ban Colton and I actually have matching ones so I have mine in like a baby blue color and then Colton has his in a black they have them in a lot of different shades and a lot of different lens types but these are very cute I love the way that they look on and I feel like they're just very trendy um, I also like the key Australia I always want to say Quay, but 
I'm sure that I'm not alone in that. Um, I like the high key styles. They're really, really cute. So yeah, just any type of sunglasses, something that's really nice and cute, you gotta have that whenever you're at the beach. Obviously, you need a beach towel, and I really love these type. So this is actually from Express. Express has so many cute beach essentials. Um, I actually got another cute one from them that has flamingos on it, but I love this one because it's kind of like a color block and it has different shades on it. It's very cute and summery and it's really going to absorb a lot of water because of the material. So yeah, if you're like drenched whenever you come out of the water, then you can definitely rely on this to get you really good and dry. But I love this because it's very nice and thick and it's very soft, but it's not too soft to where you feel like it's not going to absorb the water. So yeah, I feel like just having a good beach towel is a sin. And at the beach, it is so important to stay hydrated. Say it with me hydrated. Hydration is going to be key because it is just so hot outside. So you want to make sure that you always have some type of beverage. I mean, I would say water is probably the best, but I know we be drinking on that other stuff at the beach, you know, water not always at the top of our list. But if you do decide that you want to have some type of water and you want it to be in a cute little tumbler or whatever you're drinking, you can always put it in something like this because I know um, at the beach they don't really allow cans and stuff or at least um, when we go to the beach they don't allow cans. So you can always put it in something cute like this. And this says Cheers Beaches. This is from Express. So, so cute. And then I have another one that's a little bit smaller. Um, it's in the kitchen, but um, it's also from Express and it says Rest beach face but yeah I just love these type of tumblers because you can just put whatever beverage you like in here just make sure that you're staying hydrated and if you're gonna be drinking something other than water make sure that you're getting water in between that so you don't get dehydrated so um yeah I love these cute tumblers and then I also like these type because they keep whatever you're drinking very nice and cold and you can get something like this from Amazon and this is just one of those like insulated ones so it's gonna keep your drink very nice and cold all right guys, so that's pretty much everything that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in anything that I mentioned, be sure to check the description box. There will be links below for everything, all the places I mentioned, Express, Fashion Over, Pretty Little Thing. Everything that I talked about will be in the description box, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye!